Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two. I'm going to put, uh, or at least I think, uh, I mean, I hope I will get to that, uh, putting in time frames for this part so you guys can skip through each phase of the flight. Um, however, we're starting right away with the before descent procedure, um, which for us begins with the landing elevation, making sure that is set to auto. Again, we're checking it auto. It is and 600 feet, which is our destination elevation. So that's checked. We're going to go and check our weather. You can do that through the uh, ATSU. So go to AOC menu, go to weather ATAS, and go to METAR. It will automatically uh, go for the highlighter, which is, as you can see, uh, Vienna. So we're going to go there, and we're going to enter in all the information we have into our approach uh, page. So QNH1012, and we just got a message from ATC 130 at 7. Flight level is 100, and temperature is 27 degrees. Then, according to our charts, we're going to go check that now. Our charts, ILS uh, is going to be we're going to do ILS category one, so decision height of 200, and that is entered there. I'm going to go and contact uh, approach, which was ADR center one. 300, really? That's an interesting frequency. 130. Zero. Zero. Alright, we're going to call ATC. Viewing 8714 is now with you, proceeding direct Tapna. Viewing 8714, I'll get Tapna. 5250. 5 0 standard level. Please level 350. I will try some traffic in about 7 minutes. Level 350. Alright, going down to 350 for uh, uh, 8714. Alright, I had no. For some reason, PFPX calculated 360, which is really diff. Really. Yeah, really odd. Um, yeah. So, I actually planned 320, so I decided to go to 360. So, yeah, that makes sense. Going east is odd. So we're going to go to send down 350 and we're going to continue our procedure. The next procedure is going updating our winds, especially on a long flight. If it's a shorter flight, you don't really need to do so. But uh, if, you're descent, if you are, have been doing a longer flight, go ahead and request wind information. And uh, yeah, actually, that might clear out your, some of your performance information. So go ahead and stay on that hit page and make sure everything is set and checked. So, if you're uh, planning on going with uh, landing flaps 3, go ahead and make sure the uh, landing flaps 3 switch is set to on. Go and set your auto brake. Um, I need to check ATIS, so I don't know what's runway we can expect. Um, I don't even know if ATIS is online. No, it is not. Level 551, So we're just going to expect runway 11 as per usual. And so with that, I'm going to go and check the charts. Here you go. And I'm going to go to our airport. Runway 11 is here. We have quite a bit of runway, so I'm going to use landing or outer brake low. We could do f config 3, um, but we're going to go and do config full, just so we have a little bit of runway left. Three in the air, on the ground, at Sarajevo, information, Zulu, Greenwich, 1015, 1, destination Dubrovnik. 
I transition on to the, is Good level three, the Aquilo, Copy aircraft type. Uh, where do you have information Zulu from? Because it's information alpha here. Uh, final approach fix altitude here is I think they got this flipped um, I think category 2 and 3 should be MDA um, but frequency 1 to 4 1 to 0 it is information call me back do not just say something to sound good say to be correct thank you procedure yes APS start yes alright um, minute final approach fix altitude again we can check through the charts ILS 1 1 it would be 5,000. So that's checked. So we have to do the approach briefing in order to activate the next phase. So all you have to do is... Are you, are you ready for the approach briefing? Are you ready for the approach brief? We're still on cruise. That's weird. Are you ready for the approach briefing? Huh. You have control? I have control. I have control. You have control. Are you ready for the approach briefing? Are you ready for the approach briefing? Ready. Any questions? None. Alright, so make sure to say I have control and then do the, uh, uh, the descent uh, or the approach briefing. Same way as I just did it. Are you ready for the same thing as the departure briefing? Are you ready for the departure briefing? In this case, approach briefing, and then you say any questions, and then it activates, and you can see the approach checklist phase has been activated. All right, and from there on out, you're if you're with ATC, just follow ATC. If not, you can just descend um, as soon as you reach top of the descent. <laughs> And, uh, okay, Z-Level 551, let me make something very clear. I love your flight. You're welcome to fly here 24 hours. I really mean it, but you need to bloody be here if you want to find my airspace. Leaving without noticing me is not good, and I've already used it to a supervisor. Please do not do that again, because it's really, sorry for the language, that it pisses me off. So I'm not clear now, and now 135, that's not clear. Bye-bye. Okay, well that just happened. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next phase, which is about 20,000 feet. We'll turn on the seatbelt signs, but I'm not going to say anything about that. But at 10,000 okay, feet, we'll definitely continue. Actually, uh, your radar, very good evening, Tom Jet 5 Kilo Julia, it's going to be flight level 3, fast ever. Right? Uh, Tom Jet 5 Kilo Julia, it's actually a radar, hello. Uh, this is the transponder, squawk 5251. Squawk 5251 for Tom Jet 5 Kilo Julia. Alpha Delta, I'm not ready to have a Skype Delta 3 in the Aquilo 737-800 sitting uh, at Sarajevo ground, stand to one with information Alpha QNH 1015 destination Dubrovnik. Set level 3, it's Alpha Delta, I'm not ready to have a Brana 1 Charlie departure. I'm initially level 120, work 524. Say, I'm Bristol Sky, level 3 India Kilo. Sky, level 3 India Kilo, clear destination Dubrovnik, Brana, Watt Charlie, departure from the 3 0. Climb level 120, work 5246. According to the Bernic via run one Charlie departure squawk five two four six initial climb one five level one two zero five travel three in kilo. Federal three in the kilo repeat is correct, push and start the plate is there. Punja five kilo GDI is ready for the sun. 
This is an absolutely perfect time to fly because. Well, if you're flying on the east side, because literally everything on the east side is covered. Yeah, the center side of a one three zero, and um, just to let you know, we're looking to um, proceed direct to Papua India, Tango Alpha Sierra. Wow. Why, had why do I have to be flying in, in Vienna when everything, pretty much everything is loaded with ATC except for Vienna and Barcelona? That's just unfortunate, but that's how it, that's how it be right now. So, that's unfortunate for this airspace that <laughs> it doesn't have any planes at the moment. Same here. That's truly really unfortunate, but oh, just to get you guys an insight on what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Papa, I can expect to uh, cross uh, the final track to the east, and then I will accept from the east for the final. Roger. It is 3 6 Papa, I'm leaving at the sector for the operation, and now it's really tough to want to do that. My next, Papa. We can do this right, easy, very sick before I have time. Boeing 8714 Slovenia never claimed to be big, so you're already leaving. But let me see, do we have Vienna? Yeah, no. It's really from one to that tonight. Have a good. Uh, was that for 8714? I've already boarded 8714. We don't have Vienna here, so resume on navigation. You need from one to two decimal eight. As I can see, there is some departing from Gerard, just to the north of you. Otherwise, it's all yes. Ah, uh, that is quite unfortunate. But thank you again for your services, and uh, hopefully, be flying in your uh, airspace soon again for 8714. And so one for you, welcome. Tomorrow we have a big event, 15, 21 Zulu, the Brownies. A lot of planes, good experience, and 50 euros to the lucky one. Enjoy. All right, perfect. Thanks for the info. I'll definitely take a part of that. Till then. See ya. Bye. All right, so we're cleared to go down ourselves, so let's go ahead and clear ourselves. We're going down to 18,000, and we're going to send now. Um, pretty much a top ascent. Wind data uplink we've received, so I'm going to check performance just to make sure. Nope, everything looks just as it should. Perfect. So we'll see you then uh, when uh, things are about to get spicy. In fact, I'm actually going to go ahead and set this down to uh, 9,000, just so we are ready for the 10,000 feet check. Um, so yeah, till then.
Ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be landing. Please ensure your cabin back is safely stowed with your laptop inside. Your tray table must be stowed, armrest down, and window blind open. You now need to be seated with your seatbelt fastened, ready for landing. Please help us by handing in any rubbish, newspapers, or magazines that you do not want to take with you. The toilets are no longer in service.
Alright, so we are now about to just we're passing 10,000 feet, so our flows consist of putting on the constraints, landing systems, and we're going to go ahead and stow a table here. Now we're going to dim any lights that are too blur, too uh, demanding on the eyes, at least in real life, because it's nighttime right now. Um, even though it is a sim, I mean, we don't really have to worry about it too much. But, uh, still gonna be nice. And I think I'm gonna cut the root short here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut it, uh, I think here. I'm going to go to 5,000, I'm going to pull it, go and set, uh, oh, we are descending way too fast, so I'm going to go and adjust this to about 1,300, um, and, uh, I believe it was 1014, 1012. So we're going to go and set 1012 once and twice. And we're also going to confirm so. Altimeter set 1012. 1012 set passing 8000. Now, checked. Approach checklist. Briefing. Confirmed. ECAM status. Checked. Seatbelts. On. Barrel ref. 1012 set. 1012 set. Minimum. 200 feet set. 200 zero, zero feet set. Engine mode selector. Normal. Approach checklist complete. So as soon as you have your uh, altimeter set, you can do the approach checklist. And uh, from there, you continue our descent as normal. I'm just checking here, 5,000. Should be able to make it. I'm going to go ahead and set heading mode. Go and insert that. And so now we got a nice radial. And you can see our glide slope is coming back, so we can go ahead and turn right. I'm going to go 0, 2, 5. And uh, if we are using our own uh, speed, which we aren't just yet, we might as well begin go and set our speed down to 230. We can activate and confirm the approach phase. So now we're level at 5,000. Passing final approach fix. 5000 zero, zero, zero feet. Checked. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn final or as final as possible, so it's, we're going to go 0, 7, 0. And we're going to go and arm the localizer. We might overshoot it.
and you can see the glide slope slowly cre uh, creeping down. Just before the 10 DME mark uh, that I've uh, added in, I'm going to have flaps 1. And then as we capture the glide slope, or as, as we get about 2,500 to, uh, to about 3,000 feet uh, above ground, uh, we will We will activate, or sorry, we'll go to gear down and flaps two. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a 220. Flaps one. Check speed. Mm. Flaps one. Speed checked. Flaps one. And I'll continue down to two, 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 zero, zero. Alright, we're gonna go gear down now. Gear down. The reason gear this down. is uh, bleed off speed, we're gonna go down at 180 knots. There's Norman. charts out here so I'm gonna go ahead and go to airports so we know where to get out flaps 2 speed checked flaps 2 we're gonna set 160 2500 there's 2500 radio altimeter alive checked I'm going to go ahead and disengage the autopilot. I don't know if I've got a button. No, I do not. So we're going to do it the, uh, the way you're not supposed to be doing it. So that's... Flaps 3. Speed checked. Flaps 3. Flaps full. Speed checked. Flaps full. Cabin crew be seated for landing. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto brake. Low. EKM memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete. Cleared. Cleared to land. Checked. I have control. You have control. One thousand. One thousand. Glide. Five hundred. Four hundred. Five 
100 above. Minimum. Continue. That was a hard landing. No spoilers. Roll out. Reverse green. D cell. Well, not a very good touchdown. Seventy knots. Manual braking. Now we gotta see who contacted us. It was Tower 194. Yeah, he contacted me way too late. I'm not gonna answer that uh, when I'm on final, so. Um. So as soon as you are ready for the uh, after landing procedure, just disarm your spoilers and uh, turn off any unnecessary lights. And he'll do his after landing flow. We're gonna go in contact tower 09 decimal four. Ah, oh, that's right. Doesn't work. We're gonna stop here in a second. 094. Yoling 8714 is now with you, uh, Alpha 6. Yoling 8714 with 6 to 8, Charlie 3 3 via exit 7 and Lima. Uh, you'll have to repeat the gate, but via X 7 and Lima for uh, 8714. Rolling 8714, taxi to Charlie 33 three, via exit 7 and Lima. Alright, to Charlie 33 three, and then via exit through 7 and Lima for uh, 8714. Okay, that's pretty simple. After landing checklist. He's going to read it out for himself, which is fine. Pause the chrono. So yeah, after you've done the landing, after you've landed, spoilers disarm, lights off as necessary, and then pause your chrono, and then uh, he'll do everything for your uh, for you, and then do the after landing checklist. Depending on the setting, he's either going to do it to himself, so he's going to read it to himself. Okay, the first thing uh, sounded a little bit odd, but he's going to read it to himself, and um, and he, you're not going to get any feedback on it, or you have the default option where he'll read it to you and you'll read back to him. Um, let's go ahead and uh, taxi going Charlie 3-3. Three, three. So landing rate was very unusually hard uh, for me. Although the second landing, or the second touchdown was pretty soft with 163. Um, so that'll be counting for me, which is perfect. That's just the way I like it. Ocean 419 Echo, taxi to rolling point on way to Niner via Echo, exit 24 and Mike. To Niner, so that means... Echo, exit 24 and Mike. Interesting. Using runway two nine, or even though the winds prefer one one. That's interesting. That's interesting. Very interesting. Maybe it's just uh, same thing with London. Sometimes they fly or take off in tailwinds uh, because that's just the procedure for London for noise abatement procedures. Um, so that's probably what they're doing. Same thing with uh, actually LA is a better example of that. 
Um, yeah. Alright, so if you want the taxi light to come off and the uh, the uh, first, yeah, if you want the taxi light off, just uh, say taxi light off when you're about to turn into the terminal or turn into your gate, which I'll demonstrate, of course. Um, so Charlie 33, that's around here. On our right side, obviously, it's a gate. I'm going to go and turn off his turning radar, even though he should be doing that. Bad guy, bad, 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 bad. All right, where's Charlie 33? Are there any markings? Yes, Charlie 35. So 33 should be next. Okay, now 34, and then 33, which is right here. So if you want to taxi light off, there's enough lighting here, so I'm going to go and say now. Taxi light off. Voila, and I believe this is 33. Vienna Tower, good evening. This is KLM request clearance, please. <laughs> Very straight to the point. KLM 122 Travels. Cam crew, disarm doors and cross check. KLM 112, you are clear Slides. to inbook video or suit to Charlie departure. In the shipping 5000 feet, squawk 1000. Okay, parking brake apply. And he's going to do a pre-shutdown flow, just make sure everything is set as required. And then you can shut down the engines once you see it's ready. Alright, shutting down engines. And we're going to wait until engines are uh, at a safe place. We can go and turn off the seatbelt signs and the emergency exit lights can go to off. That is if you're not flying back. And then once the engines are safe to come to, beacon can come off. We're going to go and connect the jetway. I'm um, not sure if it's... Yes, okay, it is. Request deboarding. boarding. 116 passengers are on board, or were on board, are on board. Flight plan amended to surveil threatening. Then, the next thing you check. Taxi. Alright, I'm gonna go switch. The next thing you check is your flight plan uh, and make sure that the uh, fuel amount that you landed with is correct. We were supposed to arrive with 3,143, we arrived with 2,800. So, there's something in the flight plan is not 100% accurate. Either that or, uh, yeah. Um, but at least we did not arrive with about half of that. So that's fine. That's all good to go. Our time should have been 2 hours and 2 minutes. And it's exactly 2 hours and 5 minutes. So maybe that explains the extra fuel that we've burned off. So that we can cancel out. We can also cancel okay, out that. Okay, channeling is complete and the aircraft is clear. And so once you are... Ready? You can go ahead and call for the parking checklist. Parking checklist. APU bleed. On. Engines. Off. Seat belts. Off. Exterior lights. Off. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and shocks. On and in. Parking checklist complete. Okay, from the parking checklist, uh, all you gotta do is then go to the MCDU, the ATSU, the AOC menu, you go to init, second page and once it's ready to send off go ahead and send it off flight time is actually two hours and one minute so that's fine but fuel remaining of 2.9 you'll see and that is complete you're ready to fly back if you fly back if you want to or you can shut secure the aircraft if you want to secure the aircraft which you would normally never do if the passengers are still deboarding but if you wanted to just call for uh, secure the aircraft please and then uh, make sure the parking brake is set and then you you yourself would turn off the IRS's and that's pretty much it and then you do the secure checklist so just because we can we're gonna go ahead and do that secure the aircraft please secure the aircraft please okay so we just did our part
securing the aircraft checklist. It ears. Mm, off. Off. Oxygen. Off. APU bleed. Off. Emergency exit light. Off. Signs. Off. APU and battery. Off. Securing the aircraft checklist complete. And that is it. In about three more minutes, he's going to turn off the uh, AP, or sorry, the batteries, and then the aircraft is completely secure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it informative, or the these two parts of the video. Um, with that, I'm going to conclude the uh, tutorial. If there's any any questions you guys have, please let me know. If you guys want to see a tutorial on single engine taxi with FS2 crew or uh, something else, just let me know and I'll go ahead and do that. Um, either that or I'll integrate it into a video, a normal video, and then slap a tutorial logo on it or whatever label. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next videos. Peace out.